so um, here's another quick review on the um, uh, model 58. I think it's JH58. Uh, and and uh, I'll show you. Is all I. This is a SDS Max reel. And in the past, I was running SDS Plus. Well, you can get these for pretty darn cheap. Uh, the SDS Max to SDS Plus adapter. And we'll be running three quarter bit. So just so you can see how this runs, um, really awesome for real. Two hundred and fifty bucks. I mean, I, I paid two seventy with shipping. They could get them che it's a little cheaper now. Um, best darn gas powered drill. I mean, I have a old GT22 Hilti, um, and the um, like a DD118. They used to make like years back, but it cost a thousand bucks back then, and it had some cheap plastic. These are good quality. Like I would think this is like a name brand over here in the states. So let's. Uh, I'll show some of the accessories after I get done drilling. I just don't want to run out of memory here. As the uh, exhaust deflector. with this bag. I bought the bag. But um, it came with a little tool kit. I think this is inch and three eighths. It's a 30 millimeter size bit. Um, then it came with a point 
chisel. Which, um, you know, that's already mashed up pretty good, but, um, and then I bought a flat chisel for it for like ten bucks, something like that. Um, let's see. Oh, it comes with this, uh, instruction book. And not like you get the parts, there's a parts diagram. Uh, what I wanted to show you is, um, I highlighted some sections. Um, it's all in broken English. Like, that's what's entertaining about this thing. So, like in use, this machine is suitable for the concrete and bricks and rock hammer drill or chisel on homework. Uh, maintenance. Non-professional maintenance personnel removal machine is forbidden. In order to avoid structural damage to parts, shorten service life of the driver, or cause an accident. Huh? Um, yeah, it's got, it's got some little gems in there. But, um, yeah. Nice, nice little machine. This, these are the plastics. This is all metal, powder coated, even. Um, this is where you can switch over from drill to hammer. And it's just got the little arrows to show you where you're at. Um, it's pretty standard uh, air filter with the uh, choke. Down here, you can't see it too well, but it's actually got a primer bulb. Your pull start. Um, let's see. This one I did modify. Um, uh, what I did is I took a piece of um, solder, took the spark plug off, stuck it in, gave it a, a pull, made sure it touched the side, and I got squish. You can, on two strokes, basically get away with point zero two zero inches of clearance that's point zero two it was like point zero four so I did um, get in there take off the the head gasket um, and replace that with um, uh, anaerobic gasket maker um, and it did boost up I could feel it in the, uh, the, the pole um, that it did boost up the compression pretty significantly on this, uh, um, which is where you're going to get more torque, more power, and all that. Um, and don't think I did any other modifications on it. I didn't really want to. It did have e, e like I think um, uh, EPA intakes where. Um, you usually have a cutout, and this had little tiny holes in a solid piece. I was tempted to pull those out, but like if you can see on the carburetor, um, there's usually two adjustments. Uh, not all of them have this one, but on the top, um, there's usually uh, some of them have a, like a little tiny screw, and you can adjust the idle with that. And this is your high. Um, high jet, but this one I couldn't find a uh, an adjusting tool. Um, I've done it before where I just take a Dremel and make a notch, and then you can stick a screwdriver in. But um, just not being able to get into the 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 um, the, the idle screw on top. I didn't usually need to, to keep on adjusting both to get a good tune, so I didn't cut those um, EPA type intakes on the uh, engine block. Um, I didn't cut those down, so I didn't make that modification. But it runs great, R ran great right out of the box. So, man, just a great drill. Wish I had more projects right now because I love running this thing. Um. 
Well, I hope this helps you out.